Heather Green, less than 24 hours after the horror of the Caravel crash. The nation was once more shaken by tragedy. Here in the early light of day could be seen the full extent of the train crash, which claimed 55 lives. The night before, the normal quiet of this London suburb had been shattered. Ambulances, fire appliances and rescue workers had poured into the narrow streets near Hither Green Station. The Hastings Charing Cross Express crash was a bad one. The death toll mounted. At least 139 were injured, some seriously. The dreaded task of finding victims went on non-stop throughout the night. Stretcher after stretcher was brought through from the scene of Britain's worst train disaster for 10 years. For some, there was nothing that could be done. When the express left the rails, it was travelling at high speed, normal on this stretch of line. Again, the unsuspected claimed its victims. They were clamped in the tangled masses of metal. When day came, the red-rimmed eyes of the rescue workers told as much of the harrowing story as the wreckage itself. In two days, 92 people had died. It was a black weekend in Britain. 